just talk about what went into the search process. Was this an easy find or did you have a lot of interviews? Actually, it was, um, you know, I set out and I kind of made it a detailed process, Rich. Um, you know, I didn't want to rush into anything. I, I had a list of guys like most coaches would if, um, you know, if you have to, if you have to, you know, find a new coach, new coordinator. And I went through a pretty detailed process. Um, and I took my time. I probably talked to about seven, eight people, uh, some multiple times, spent a lot of time on Zoom, watching a lot of football, asking a lot of questions, getting to know people. And I didn't want to rush it. And a lot of people were kind of on me, I think, to get it hired, get it hired. But, but I wanted to take my time. And I set out with the process and I completed it. And at the end of the day, um, you know, it was an easy decision after spending the time with John. And that, that's kind of how I went through it. Um, you know, uh, Coach Chud helped out a lot with his offensive background. Um, so I got to give him a lot of uh, credit for all the time that we spent, the hours we spent on the film with different, different people zooming and asking questions and him doing research on people and doing background checks on people. So it was thorough. And he did a phenomenal job helping guide some of those interviews. On, on some days, I was on the road recruiting and wasn't able to, to um, get to as many people as I wanted. And then I would get back with him. Um, so he did a lot of the vetting process. And um, very pleased, though, Rich, um, where we ended up. Next to Andy. Hey, Jeff, good to see you. Me too, Andy. Um, kind of a two-parter here. Was this always going to be an outside hire, or did you, get, did you guys think about promoting from within? And if it was an outside hire, um, how important is it for you to find someone you've overlapped with? I know you and uh, John were in Tampa Bay together for a bit. Yeah. Was it always going to be an outside hire? No. Um, I think we have some very capable – I think we have really good coaches here, truthfully, Andy, who I think are going to be great coordinators, uh, who I have a lot of respect for and who I really want to be here and help us out. Um, was it always going to be somebody that I had worked with? No, there were some guys I talked to that I didn't work with truthfully, probably half of them. Um, it helps when you have worked with somebody, um, you kind of know them as a person, see if they fit character, um, are they a fit for BC? And it, 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 uh, John and I spent that year in Tampa together. I was there for two seasons. He was there for one. Um, and we were on different sides of the ball. So when you're on different sides of the ball, you're not, as, you're not around each other as much as you would think, um, but we did get to know each other well. Um, so I, I know all about him as a person. I know how fe people feel about him in this profession, um, and they hold him in really high regard, both as a football coach in both leagues and even more importantly as a person. I mean, I think you guys will all see that as you get to know him. He fits us, and I'm really excited about it. We'll go next to Trevor. Hey, Jeff, how you doing? Good, man. Thanks. Good. Uh, so obviously his resume pretty much speaks for itself. He's been everywhere in you know, decades. Just what stands out about his resume to you and any particular stops that kind of paint the picture of what he's like as a coordinator and a person? Yeah, I think um, what impresses me the most about the various positions he's coached, uh, both in the NFL and in college football. And when you start to interview people and ask them questions about scheme, he could get really detailed about all those positions, run game and pass game, which is very rare. Some guys we talked to were really good in the pass game and I'm really good and had quarterback experience. Some guys were really good in the run game and had O-line experience. Um, when you talk to John, John's coached quarterbacks in the National Football League. He's coached tight ends in the National Football League. He's coached guys like Larry Fitzgerald, and he's been a wide receiver coach in the National Football League. That's really, that's really rare, and it's extremely impressive. And then he's also called plays. So he's got an NFL background, but now he also has a college background. He did earlier, kind of like me. He left, went to the NFL, and then he came back. And when you watch how he's evolved, it shows. And that to me is really impressive. He knows what the college game's all about right now. He knows the type of schemes that we're gonna play against. He basically played an ACC schedule two years ago when we all had to play in the ACC and Notre Dame was in the ACC. Um, but then he's got that background, he's developed players, he has relationships with those players and he's coached at the highest level. And, um, you know, just again, it, just such a good fit for us for the direction that we want to go. Um, I think all that really did stand out when you talk to some of the guys that he has coached in the relationships that he's had with his players and still does have with his players. Um, and some of the players that I talked about who I coached in the league that know him, it just all that kind of stands out and it excites me. And I'm just really fortunate we were able to get him. We'll go next to Kevin. 
Hey, Coach, how you doing? Good, man. How are you? Good, thank you. So uh, just kind of piggybacking off of that, actually, uh, in terms of a recruiter, you know, how is John and um, how important was that, you know, in the process as well? You know, was that the most important thing when I hired a coordinator? No. Um, you know, to me, it's always about people. And I said to you guys a million times, you win with people. So the first thing that I re look really hard for is what type of guy is he? And I, I kind of knew that because I was with him for a year. And then I talked to a lot of people who raved about him. I mean, I got so many text messages from people in this profession once we hired him saying incredible hire, home run hire, unbelievable person. So that's huge for me. And then the number two was scheme, right? So the way I looked at it is person, scheme, and then recruiting from a coordinator standpoint. And there's some guys that we talked to, for the most part, they were great people. I mean, that's, that's important. And a lot of them were really good schematically. I think where he is going with his scheme and what he has evolved to and what we talked about, him and I share the same exact vision. Now, do I want to get really detailed in what we're going to be? I don't. And you guys know why, because I think it's going to be a pain to try to defend us the first couple of weeks when which film are they going to watch, right? I mean, that would make my head explode trying to figure out, do I watch Notre Dame? Do I watch an NFL team? Do I watch stuff that he's done back? In, like, that's going to be really hard. So we fit all that. But then he also has the ability to recruit and relate to people. And I think that's rare. And I think when you guys talk to him and meet him, you'll see why. Because he's an honest person. He's a good guy. He's not going to BS people. And it's going to be easy for him to say to a wide receiver, this is what I did with Larry Fitzgerald. And this is what I did with the tight ends. And this is what I did with the quarterbacks that I coached and developed in the NFL. Right? And then look what he's done at Notre Dame with the tight ends that they have there. I mean, are you kidding me? So now you get a guy who's coached all those positions, developed players at all those positions. And I think it's a home run in all three. But again, the recruiter was not, it was person scheme, then recruiter. And that was in my mind who I was looking for. He just happens to fit all three for us. We'll go next to Jack. Hey, Coach, how are you? Good, man. Good to see you. Thank you. Um, so you talked a little bit about how John has coached at the NFL level. Obviously, you have also. So when you're going through this process, was that like a necessity that you're looking for or just more of an added bonus? Um, not a necessity. There's some guys that I talked to that had no NFL background. So I don't want to pigeonhole this thing and say, no, I needed to hire an NFL guy. There's some there's some college coaches who I know that are better than coaches than some guys in the NFL. There are high school coaches that are better than some coaches I know in the NFL. So that it wasn't like, no, he needs to coach in the NFL. Um, I think it was an added bonus. And I think it's helped him develop as a coach because when you coach in that league and you have to coach some of the guys, like I mentioned that he's coached, you better know what you're doing and you better have relationships or it's going to be really hard. So not a necessity, but to me, a huge bonus that I'm really excited about. We'll go next to James. Hey, Jeff, James Cratch, I cover records for the Star Ledger. I, I'm just curious, how do you have to start planning for the opener now, considering that on Rutgers and BC, everyone basically knows each other and what they're going to do? I got, I, I wish I could tell you I could start planning for it now, but shoot, I'm trying to figure out what the mat drills are going to look like tomorrow. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to speak at in this clinic I'm going to in Columbus on Friday, getting ready for spring football. Then we got recruiting. Um, no, we, we won't start game planning for that just yet. Yeah, I guess the, go, go ahead, James. I got you. Yeah, to follow up, I know it's seven months away. There's already kind of a buzz and bringing John in adds to that. Do you think it's good for Northeast college football that there's going to be so much anticipation on this opener already? I think it's great. I mean, I think that's a great game. You know, I have a ton of respect for Coach Ciano and how he's affected my life. And I'm sure John has the same feelings towards him. Um, you know, I, th I think at any time you can play a team regionally, I think it's a great thing. Um, so I'm excited about it. I just, it's hard for me to tell you, James, how excited I am for it because I feel like, I, I feel like it's like five years away right now, right? Like there's so much that goes, we just went over the calendar in the staff meeting and trying to detail what every day is going to look like. And there's so much that goes into it. Um, I'm sure you'll pop on the week before we're about to play it and I'll be, I'll be able to give you a, a heck of a lot more detail but I think it's a great game. I think it's a game we should play often. Um, and it should be good for, for the Northeast. We're going to go two more first with Andy. I know Frank was instrumental in getting Phil here. Uh, did any point of this hurts a hiring process? Did you 
contact Phil or communicate with him about it? And then how do you balance the current players and the vision you have for them with the long-term goals of the program? That's a good question. Um, how, did I contact Phil? Yeah, I, con I talked to Phil a lot throughout the process. Um, I think that you guys know me well enough by now. I, I have a great relationship with our players and it's very open and the communication's extremely important to me. And would I sit here and say I was gonna, you know, ask our players who we should hire as a coordinator? No, I mean, I wasn't gonna ask them that, but I, I'd kind of call up some guys and, and fill them in and they'd ask questions. Like Phil was excited. I mean, Emmett was excited. Guys were excited. They wanted to know, you know, who are you talking to? Are we close yet? Do you have a guy in mind? And, uh, you know, when I kind of find out the direction we're going and have the conversations with those guys, they were excited. They were really excited um, of his reputation in both leagues, just watching what they've been able to do on film. Um, and, and that what you asked, Andy, is a good question, because that crossed my mind when we were talking short term and long term. I think there's thing that John I think there's things that John has that he showed me on tape that he wants to do that really fit who we are. And I think that's really important. But I couldn't be short sighted. And also when I show me the film thinking, wow, like some of our young guys are going to really be good at that. And that's really the direction I want to go. So, yeah, I did think of both of those things. And to me, he checked off both of those boxes of where I thought we needed to be better this year, because. Again, I, I love Frank, and all you guys know that, and I wish Frank the best of luck in Pittsburgh. I'm happy he's going to get to be around his family. Um, we need to improve on offense next year. That starts with me, right? And, and that's why this hire was huge for me, because it all falls on, on me, and we need to play better on offense next year. Every, every one of us would say that. And I felt really confident after I spent the time with John and watched the film with John that he's got a, a great plan for that to happen. And I think our players feel the same way. And I think they're going to be really excited as they, they get to learn this game. Jeff, that's going to wrap things up for questions with you. Thank you very much. All right, guys. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Mm -hmm.